also in many angles of events and activities uh, that we do from time to time. Um, basically, uh, for example, in September, we did a charity, two charity concerts in uh, Ipoh. Uh, we donated a 300,000 ringgit to some tech school. Um, 2011, 2012, we did the same. We raised and, ra and donated 300k again entirely from our own funds. We pay for everything, but we still donate a clear cut 300k. Not we raise the fund, deduct the expenses and pay. No, no, we didn't do that. So, a lot of uh, ideas uh, and inspirations that was given by the uh, club members and all that. Then, uh, until that, uh, suddenly I decided to do a whole series of program uh, for my upcoming project here. Just a very quick one. Uh, we already started our sales gallery and office here about uh, 70 days ago, uh, approximately about two, two, months, uh, two months plus ago. The site, the location of Upper East at Tiger Lane for your information is actually next to this bungalow. Next to this bungalow. Somehow, we have been quite fortunate each and every time many land banks come to us after being given to so many developers and yet we still got it at almost about 30% below land market price, actual land market price. So some will ask me, how much do you get for this 7.8 acres of freehold residential title land right smack in Tiger Lane over here? I say so low that you cannot believe. I dare not tell you the actual figure. I tell you it's way below 50 ringgit per square feet. Way below 50 ringgit per square feet. All right. So what happened is, we analyze, we look at our every, every places over here. This is the most prestigious address, residential address. So we are not like um, 14, 15 minutes away from Ipoh Town. We are like um, Thompson's is here. You have the who's and who's all living here. You have, uh, when we build this, five blocks, or five, five blocks, um, uh, 12 story each. We have all the north, south, east, west. We consulted with so many Feng Shui Master. You have a clear cut view of the golf club. Um, the Parrot Royal Golf Club, you have the Turf Club, you have the Polo Ground, and etc. and all that. So, we, what, the, what we want to do is just very simple. Take a very simple average Mong Kiara condo standard facilities, designs, etc. Very simple basic average one. Put it right smack here because it's 7.8 acres. Because majority, majority, big, big majority of the Parrot developers will actually, will actually thinking of doing landed here. But we decided to change the whole concept altogether. So when we did comparison, what we did was based on this product at this location, we just decided to go 24% below market price. Right. So my official launching is in December. Um, however, without advertising, because I have not gotten my APDL, if you're developers, you know. I haven't gotten my developer license and advertising permit. We have just submitted only. Just gotten the building plan approval. But the response has been so fantastic. So many local developers actually ended up booking. I call booking lah. Actually, it's almost like sale lah, but it's booking. All right. Um, but I want to make it a bit interesting, a bit special. Only today and tomorrow, for my best, best block that I have kept all this while, my fifth block, which is directly facing the Thompson residence, the Thompson bungalows, I am just opening up today and tomorrow for you all to, to look at it and book if you are keen. Alright, anyway, that's one thing I learned doing property development in Para. We have done um, about four, five, six, seven projects here. Um, each year doing a couple hundred million sales GDP only for a small state like Para. So I realized uh, in Para, you do property development, cannot give discount. One. If you give discount, Ipo people say cannot sell on this project. Alright, so it's just the same like the way I was treated. I'm not from Ipo. Uh, when I come, uh, I want to eat good food, uh, I sit six, 30 minutes, then only come and order one, you know. Then only they come and take my order. After order, another 20 minutes. So I decided to do almost the same thing. No discount, you want, you pick, you choose. So very um, interestingly, I put two streamers at the entrance of my sales gallery there in English and Chinese. There's two things I put that actually almost a little bit hit onto a, uh, almost a lot of developers. I say two things. First, I put the, the, the words, uh, we want para developers to bring down their price and improve their standard and quality. Wow, they want, some people say I quite lancy, I say that. I say correctly. You see all the prices, no competition, that's why they set this price range per square feet of basis. Lah. Secondly, I put another remark there. I put, we only want to serve 500 deserving buyers who appreciate prestige, 
prestige and quality. All right, so that's a little bit about the product anyway. So we did a lot, 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 add a lot of things, keep on putting so much of this project, and yet still make sure that we push it at about 450, 500 ringgit per square feet, that kind of range. Even though it's with all sorts of possible amenities that you can think of, um, international landscape architects, second largest swimming pool in the entire Ipo, um, fiber optic, blah, 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 eight, eight feet high, uh, doors and etc. etc. full plaster ceiling for each and every unit, two full cover packer and blah, 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 and those things. So, what I did was very simple. The bankers asked me to sell 600 ringgit per square feet. So I decided to go in the market, say 4, 450, 400, 470. That's it, lah. just finish off and go. It's a very simple 300 over million ringgit of GDP project. So that ended up, I did a couple of functions without no sales. Um, and then we did quite well. And I'm just sharing with you what we have today. But the key thing that I wanted to uh, really thank on this drive uh, today because there's quite a fair bit of a lot of things that we are doing one after month. Somehow, some of my team, some colleagues, uh, they mentioned that we're probably an event company already. After doing this uh, charity drive, uh, uh, do, do all these charity and donations and donations and donations, uh, and so many concerts and concerts and all that, and um, uh, next month we are going to do our official launching. So I will just get uh, 62 countries, uh, the Miss World Tourism here, to launch my project on the 14th December. Then suddenly I felt like uh, not enough. Uh, because uh, I think I want to create a little bit more um. Uh, so decided January to do a big uh, charity golf tournament. January here, just across the road at the Royal Para Golf Club. And uh, last time I was thinking about giving a car as a uh, hole in one. But nowadays I think uh, cannot, uh, must give property already. Uh. Must give property, be sai, be tahan. Uh. So must, must give a little bit more different. So we decided, we plan so much of things, and other people say, are you selling property or are you selling other things? I said, property is the simplest thing to sell. If you sell to the right people, you don't even have to worry about their loan. You don't even have to worry about loan. So, at that point, when we adopted the tagline in July, after nine years, uh, we put that generating value, creating wealth. We were referring to three categories of stakeholders. Uh. Um, our share, shareholders, of course, uh, minimal risk possible, uh, highest possible return, uh, uh, optimal return. Then we talk about the property buyers, all right? Always sell, always launch, keep on selling and keep on launching below market price. At least our guideline is always 20% below market price per square feet in each and every places we go. And the third one, of course, uh, keep on rewarding, keep on rewarding, just keep on giving the best everything possible to our employees and staff on personal development and all that. So that's why you ended up like this year. Tomorrow after the function in the morning, we're supposed to gather back, I think in the hotel, maybe 10.45, come here again for one more quick charity, Dream Ride. Uh, for the orphanage, donate a little bit of money, um, the charity, then tomorrow night off, I'm bringing the staff again for another holiday. Just a small one, a seventh company trip for this year. Seven company trip for this year, all right? So, the key thing, today's drive, I really have to thank this drive committee. Uh, one and a half months, actually one and a half months was just throwing the idea. Actually doing work is probably less than 21 days. Okay, James Ng, Kenneth Tay, Jason Lau, Mr. Ki, uh, President of uh, Porsche Club Malaysia. Dr. Derek, of course, thank you for making effort to come. Uh. I heard you a bit sick, but you look the marching sun to me now. <laughs> Commander uh, Gatudin, Suresh, you here. Uh. Shao, uh, Roslan Rosdi. Are you? Ah, you here? Okay, of course, Mar Marcus Chai, uh, Bridget, and I know a few, a few, uh, many, many of you all that actually in some way, somehow encourage the rest to come. Uh, lai la, lai la, come la, tong hai hang kai la, you know, that kind of thing. At least you all make an effort to come here. Thank you very much for, for making the effort to come here and, and join us. Uh. Um, the key thing, I think, it's all about um, being successful in many businesses in whatever we do. Whether are we doing and working extra mile to do more than what is outside of our company and own business? Uh, that's one thing that I was and am still trying in my small little way, lead the way, encourage all the para, big, big, top successful businessmen, uh, all right, like Nanyin Fa Sang Lo Sai, all this sitting, uh, staying across the road and all that. Uh, hey, para, you're so successful, so rich. Do some charity. 
All right, you don't need a small average company like us from KL come here to, 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 to keep on doing it and sharing with you. So we wanted to influence and I think we are doing quite a fair bit. I remember when I put my price chart out uh, for first block, uh, when I put my price chart out for first block, I actually told the, the people who actually walked in, no advertisement, we couldn't do. All right, no leaflets, no nothing, cannot uh, sell. Sell the project that we poise and make it and try to position it as the best luxury apartment in Para. I cannot do below, below the lines. You know, in, in that manner. So I told the buyers, okay, this is my price chart. Please help me to snap the photo. Please WhatsApp to all the developers that you can think of, that you know. I want them to know what price am I selling. True enough, I, let me tell you, I see the bankers, I ask the bankers, immediately what they submit for EN financing line, ah, well, the price range also, the price also changed really in the next two, three days. All right? So it's about fair, fair, reasonable price. All right? That's what we want to educate and bring on to Para itself. Okay? So what we're going to do next is um, it's makan time, right, Cheryl? Is it our makan time? And we'll be entertained by some uh, entertainments, cake cutting, simple, symbolic, by the four clubs. Because we have five brands, uh, but we have the four clubs officially. So we want to do a, a, a simple cake cutting together with all the... the Drive committee, right? Okay, okay. So is the cake ready? Cake not ready, we makan first. Ah. Okay, I'm hungry already also. Alright guys, ladies first. To the line. <laughs> not, it's self-service. Ah. Self-service. Thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoy the night.
show our appreciation. I take you to Brazil. This is one note samba. Association for Intellectually Disabled uh, for a short introduction of this association. Thank you all you uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished officers to Ipo as well as affluent ones. I have got to sing for my dinner. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, Dr. Suri Vincent Tiu for inviting me to come and say a few words about my NGO. And I want to say a big a very big thank you to uh, Dr. Suri for uh, his uh, generosity to uh, give us a donation uh, today and uh, for his willingness to uh, participate in uh, our fundraising. The association that I represent is, the, is known as the Para Association for the Intellectually Disabled. Uh, it is a proven uh, association because it's more than 30 years old, and we have the uh, Sultan as Sultan Aparang as our patron. The last uh, being uh, Tuanku Sultan Aslan Shah until his his passing away. Um, we are we started more than 30 years ago in, in 1980 with a small school in the suburb called Kampong Tawas in Ipoh, and since then we have grown uh, to to have five schools now. Throughout the state of Para, we have three shelter workshops, one Tasca, the only one in the whole of Para for the OKU. We also have a factory uh, helping the uh, this uh, OKU, the mentally or intellectually disabled, uh, this factory to produce some uh, some uh, products from the factory for them to work. And we also have a hostel as well as a group home. 
So on the whole, we are an association that caters for the needs of these special people who are intellectually disabled. And this, I believe, is the most difficult part, form of work among the NGOs for the OKUs. Because if you are, if up in your mind you are disabled, it affects your whole body, not just part of your body. So we are here involved in this work and we are, we are glad to inform you that uh, we have many success stories to tell you. Those children who many years ago have been left behind in the home are now being gainfully employed in the private sector. We have at least a hundred of them out, out in the field, employed as normal employees, so to say, although they are handicapped mentally. But they are given the full nine dollars minimum wage. And on top of that, because they are OKU, the government give them $300. So they are better off than just a normal person who works with a minimum wage. So these are our success stories to tell. But being a big organization, having, a, having about 500 of these people under our care, being the biggest NGO catering to the needs of these special people in this whole state of Perak, perhaps in the whole country, we are the NGO that manages at least 500 of them with us. So we also have a big budget. And I'm very thankful to uh, Dr. Sri Vincent Tiu for his, his uh, generosity. He thinks of us, he's helping us, he gives us donations. And uh, tonight, I believe all of us here are affluent visitors to Ipo. And uh, I want to tell you, you have come on a motor car challenge. We have mentally challenged. But today, I want to money challenge you. If you can dig a bit deeper into your pockets and uh, help us, we truly appreciate. And my, don my motto here tonight is, every donor appreciated, every dollar accounted for. Thank you very much. We are really pleased, honestly, we are not forcing you. Uh. I just wanted to really get, uh, give the NGO a chance to speak. Uh, um, and uh, we hope that maybe some of my colleagues will collect back some of the forms. It's okay, whatever, if you are written or no, no problem with that. Then we resume back the, the next session of the, um, from Janet, all right, our jazz queen. Um, and then uh, I also want to desperately, quickly give my lucky draw. Some people say it's a property, I also don't know. I, I, I don't even know what is inside the lucky draw yet. Okay, so see you in short while. Thank you. Very ad hoc, very quick shot, you know, just a, a brief like that. Uh, uh, you have actually pledged that sum. I will make it a, a little bit um, nicer, more meaningful for Dato Yo. Uh, I will round the figure, and uh, from Andaman Group, we will round the figure and donate uh, 20,000 in total, including your 1,008. All right. Um, actually, in front of you, I shouldn't say this. Because I always say this in each and every function. Chin my man So you can't you hoi some, okay? But today I, I dare not say that too loud. Huh? But okay, no problem. Uh, with that, uh, I would like to invite uh, Dato Yo uh, on stage. We do a very quick one for our middle friends. Right? Uh, for today, this evening's uh, uh, charity to the Para Association of Intellectually Disabled. Um, um, thank you those who actually supported us uh, and um, help out the Para Association. For us, uh, developer from KL, uh, Green Charity in Para is a uh, have to, uh, biasa lah, uh, Okay, can I?
Not a signature wine, but the dog gift lah. It's actually a bottle of wine. Please do take one each on your way when you leave later after the function. Uh. Alright, uh, um, it's uh, a courtesy a token from us. I personally like the wine, uh, not the one that you're drinking. Okay, but uh, you try out this one. Somehow I, I quite like the taste, my personal taste. Okay, uh, so uh, do, do, do take one each, you know, when you leave. Secondly is um, tomorrow's uh, session, uh, actually, if I could touch on. Um, I know some of y'all early morning wants to do all your different, different breakfasts. Uh, so obviously the hotels in, is in, inclusive of breakfast and all that. So some of y'all maybe have your own um, dim sum, you know, whatsoever, etc, etc, etc. Could I, Marcus... I, on behalf, I'll just share tomorrow the gathering time, come check out, alright, uh, gathering time and check out time uh, at 10.45, okay, 10.45, same at the lobby, uh, the uh, Outriders will do a quick escort again here uh, for our charity with the orphanage. Um, I was sharing just now, just for information, why I decided to choose um, this uh, Para Association of Intellectually Disabled and also for tomorrow's charity, uh, orphanage, because to me it's, it happens by, not by their choice, all right? The children being an orphan as well or someone or the children ended up or somehow became intellectually disabled. So that's why I chose, instead of the typical normal for example, old folks homes. So that was the angle I was looking at. Not popular charity homes, bodies that receive tens and tens and hundreds of thousands of donations, but not popular, but it's, I felt it's important and meaningful. So it's 10.45, check out, because you come here for a very quick session. So the kids, the orphanage, uh, they will come over here and then um, I, I would need a little bit of that extra bit, little bit of help. Uh, they may pick their dream car to have a, a short little ride, of course, as escorted by the outrider. Short one in the Ipoh town, not 20 minutes, ah, no need, no so long, ah. Uh, they come back here, uh, I donate again some money and do a little bit of things for the orphanage homes. There's about 35 of them, but tomorrow only about 10, 10 12 of them will come. Uh, two, three years old, I don't bring them here, uh, things like that. Uh, so we do a little bit meaningful thing, really, just a little bit more, just that little bit more for the orphanage homes uh, um, tomorrow. After that, very quickly, then we go for our lunch. We go for our makan. For your information, those who want to early morning, uh, 6 o'clock go to Fusan, which I don't think is the best in summer. Uh. Alright, please take note, uh, tomorrow uh, somehow is actually Ipo International Marathon. So only 10,000 people running. Uh. Alright, but it will finish by the time we want to start our event here. Okay? Uh, for information. Otherwise, uh, actually tomorrow morning I'm running a Penang Second Bridge or so, the marathon. But I couldn't make it since I'm here with you all today and I'm, thank I'm very grateful that I'm here. Alright, instead. Okay, so that's a little bit info about tomorrow's arrangement. After the lunch, some stay back, do something. Maybe some, I don't know whether they, tomorrow morning suddenly they decided or they already pre planned and We'll play golf or whatever not, but I've, I've arranged the lunch anyway. Uh, from here, then we go together for the lunch area. After lunch, generally based on the schedule and itinerary, is escorted back to the exit toll, and off you go Penang or off you go in KL. Obviously, I think 99.9% .9 will go down KL back lah. All right, go backwards. Look, uh, I mean, go back to our KL. Then I also need to quickly pack up because I have flight to catch as well. All right, uh, um, but but um, I'm I re really really want to express my greatest gratitude for such an impromptu. Uh, those who actually pledged for just now the the donation itself. Tomorrow donation, uh, yeah, it's up to you. You want also can, you don't want also can in terms of donation. It's okay, don't worry lah. Right, it's it's really up to ourselves on all these things. Right, but I'm just doing it a little bit because I felt the finish. Really, really, these are the one that not not like in KL. KL almost everybody, every organization ah. Uh, they say fight to try to donate until they got no time to attend your 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 function to receive donation, for example. But here, meaningful. I think I we check it out. They were quite comfortable. So that's about it on my announcement.
Now, I think I want to give some small little token gift for your effort to come for, for coming here today. Uh, it's a bit simple. You have actually registered, right? You got your lucky draw number with you, correct? Um, I have in a book uh, names uh, because some refuse to be lucky. They know they, if they put their name, they show win. So they refuse to put their name in the book. Can I have the book, please? Okay. So the number here is about um, 89. 089. Uh. So 089 is very simple. I have uh, two boxes. So the first one is 0 to 8. Obviously, there's no number 9 here, lah, right? Right? Okay. So that's 3, 6, 9. This is no 9. That one? To 9. So it's 0 to 9. There's 10 ping pong balls. Right? Can you just show uh, just a very quick one? Let's do this quickly. Because uh, we could give up uh, what we want to give up, you know, our the property, yeah, uh, brother. Property, but brochure, uh, you just have a look at my Upper East, you know. Upper East, I do so much effort. Uh. All right, I a bit lancy, yeah. Uh, before launching, 65% so. So, and I purposely do more units than my nearest competitor, Heaven. And I purposely tell him, you lease hole, I free hole. <laughs> ah, I'm residential title, and I'm a low Fu Hong. You build another bigger project, anyone build another bigger project, you can never be at Tiger Lane. You build a twin tower, triple tower, four times the swimming pool, fiber optic, whatever, circus, also you are not at Tiger Lane. You can never be there at Tiger Lane because I've gotten the largest parcel of land in Tiger Lane, 7.8 acres. Alright, okay, quick one. Uh, this is number two. Uh, this is number six. Uh. Six. Uh. Alright, uh, just quick one. Uh. Uh, eight. This is one, zero, three, four, seven, five. Right, so because I have 89, so there's no 90, 90 91, 92, 93, 94. La. If you have not registered, uh, sorry, it's not total. Now I have to give up already. That one is okay. La. I, I want to give By the way, I have only have five iPhone 6. But not plus, uh, please don't scold me. Uh. iPhone 6 only. Uh, but not iPhone 6 plus. plus. Because I go Lao Yang also, it's a video. They uh, charge me Sa Ching Tao. I say I want 3. Oh, Chidi Up. Okay, U. Uh. I say Chidi Up for what? What one only? What four? I want five. Okay. Uh, but don't look. Uh. Uh, any number. You just pick one. One ball. That's all. One, one ping pong ball. The number is. Number two. Okay, number two. Uh. Number two, ah, uh. not yet. Zero two something. Zero two something, right? Ah, uh, so I put back. Seven. Zero two seven. Who's the lucky person of the day? Doctor or son, uh, I think. Or oh, your friend. <laughs> your friend also the boy. Okay, now to make it not interesting, ah. Uh, okay, make it interesting, lah. Of course, uh, have to be fair, lah. Uh, if uh, if somehow it, some your draw again zero two seven again, ah, uh, he not entitled to already, lah. Uh, no? Okay, because in other times, at other times, I've given the chance, uh, to the same person to hold back the number. With the same draw, he can win three times. That one, ah, uh, is Toto also Taupio. Magnum also first prize. <laughs> Three times consecutive can win. By giving back the same number, every draw draws him again. And it's by different person. Okay. Right, go look. Okay, what's the number? One. One. Alright, this one uh, is the one that I have to uh, say thank you for so early. Quickly go and queue up just now. Uh. Alright. Uh, zero, zero, one. Zero, one. Eight. Okay, the third one. Third one. Zero one. 
Seven, don't scold me. I did not touch the ball and the number. Hey, last two, last two. Ah, last two. tonight if you do stay back there's still songs lah, huh? there's still performance but if you want to chabot slowly because a lot of cars need to reverse meanwhile please grab your dog gift all right okay oh the other side six zero six Six seven. Six seven. Six seven. Same number drawn by different person. Somehow the number keep on coming out. Hmm. That one foul, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's all on the lucky draw. We will resume with that. Just a lot more food. Please help me finish it. All right. Uh, if you like the food, lah. If you don't like the food, it's okay. Uh, don't 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 force yourself to makan. All right. Till then. All right. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, and I look forward to see you all tomorrow morning. Those that have uh, plans for tonight, uh, do stay up late. Uh, do stay up late. Uh, till then. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good night then. Evening. <laughs>